I started developing on Roblox about three years ago, and needless to say, you can go a very long way in three years. But how have I actually progressed and got better at Roblox development? Well, I'll be showing you that in this video. If you're just starting Roblox development, you need to find out what you want to do. There are so many possibilities in Roblox development, such as a builder, scripter, modeler, UI artist, and there's really many more options. Once you've decided what you want to do, your next step will be to download Roblox Studio and start learning the basics. Because without the basics, you won't get anywhere in development. There are so many videos on YouTube on Roblox development and countless YouTubers to learn from. And if you're more of a reading learner, there's of course a dev form. Now let's move over to how to actually start making Roblox in Roblox development. The two most popular ways of making Roblox are making a Roblox game and commissions. And commissions are what we're going to talk about now. So you may be asking, how do I find commissions? The three most popular ways of finding commissions are Roblox's Talent Hub, the Hidden Devs Discord server, and the Dev Form. Now, before applying for a commission, you will need a portfolio. No one wants to hire someone without seeing what they're capable of. Your portfolio can be as simple as just a Google Sites with a couple of pictures. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how the Talent Hub works, and it's actually very simple. So down here, you have a lot of people who are hiring, and if you want to look for something you're good at, you can click on these three lines here. You can choose whether you want Robux, USD, whatever, and when you search skills, so if I search up a skill with building, it's going to pop up with a bunch of people who are hiring people for building. And for example, this person is looking for a builder or scripter, and he's going to pay 5,000 Robux. Now I'm going to be telling you guys the sauce the ultimate way of making Roblox as a Roblox developer, and that is by making a Roblox game. Now, trust me, it's not as easy as it sounds, I know. So I'm gonna give you five tips on making a Roblox game and also how to monetize it. And tip number one will be don't give up. Now, trust me, you may be thinking, oh, that's easy, I just won't stop making the game. But when you start on a project you're not capable of, it's really easy to give up. And that's why for tip number two is to make a game you're capable of making. If you make your first Roblox game, I suggest not to directly make an FPS game, for example. Instead, try something simpler, like a simulator. My third tip would be to properly plan out your game. So, your game concept, what you need to make, and how will you monetize it and profit off of it. For tip number four, I'm going to make this really clear and simple. Make your games enjoyable. If you want your game to get big, it needs to be enjoyable. If your game is enjoyable, it will have more players, and more players means more Robux. For example, don't just make an obby where you go to the end and that's the whole game. Offer wins for completing the obby and make a wins currency to buy fun stuff in your game. My final tip is to not be discouraged if your game doesn't take off straight away. The most successful Roblox devs have games that didn't take off, but the thing about these Roblox devs are, they don't give up. They keep on going until they finally get that one project that takes off. If this video helped you out, a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated and maybe click that little bell too. And you should probably watch this video where I made Blade Ball in an hour, it's pretty cool.